Yeah, but I think a lot of times, though, Royce is really able to overwhelm a lot of zoners if he does get in, just due to like how fast he is and the way his combos work. But I, I think the blocks make it really awkward for Roy to j jump in on this character safely sometimes. But that's a really good start already from Goblin. <laughs> just like run up in air, forward smash, easy 34. Yeah, and even when Goblin like reverses an up B, unfortunately. Oh man, hold on. Here we go. Oh, oh man, that tech chase was so good. Oh. I, I don't know if he reacted because it's not super easy to react with that option online. But yeah, that's like a staple Roy tech chase that you would love to get, especially on a, a character like this. That was like so good from Goblin. And he, he's still going. Yeah, he's just right overwhelming <laughs> Jake and just cannot get out of disadvantage and get his resources. Yeah, this is like the perfect thing for Roy. Like, you fight a character like this and you don't even give them room to breathe or set up at all. It just makes Steve look like any normal character. Yeah, look, so it, see, good. and Jake's it's not taking the opportunity to try and get out of the situations when Goblin whiffs. He tries to box right back and he pays for it right there. Beautiful. Yeah, Goblin is definitely has all the moments. Come right here. Like, he'll take the four air smash, but not close to dying yet. Yeah, I, I think if Goblin gets. Oh, hold on. No way. <laughs> <laughs> Man went out deep for that one. Goblin just completely steamrolls Jake what? to take game Is one. Is that even two minutes? Hello? No. <laughs> what just happened to Jake, dude? He didn't do anything. Actually. <laughs> he actually didn't do anything. He, he didn't set up any blocks. He he didn't get really any materials. Like, the match started, Goblin hit him, and he just kept hitting him. Yeah, well, That's it. <laughs> hopefully Jake had enough time to take a deep breath and reset for game two. Oh, yeah, he, he, needs, to, he needs to get back in the game for sure. Like, if I'm Jake, I will just pretend that last match didn't happen at all. <laughs> and they just ran right back to the same stage, too. Okay. It was interesting, because usually you're told not to go to Town City against Roy. Yeah, he, he saw that last dog, especially uh, Goblin, got the platform carry with his combo, and it was able to kill him incredibly early because of it. So I'm actually surprised he let he's like, I'm going to just go back here. But... Oh, oh, again. Nice. Yeah, I like the fair chase. To, yeah, Jake was for, forced to burn so many resources just to get back on stage. And look, he's got... He almost got Jake just completely off balance right now. That's the sign of a really good Roy player. Yeah. For sure. And um, I mean, a lot, a lot of people, you know, before Cole started doing really well, just consider uh, Goblin to be the best Roy player in general. So, All right. not, not super... Uh, Surprised to see him doing this well. Oh my duo? goodness. Double edged dance almost gonna be enough. Okay. Jake's going to the platform. Yep. That's oh, we really got the cool. cart. Yeah. Get to the platform, get your materials, and then just enough to get that cart in play too. Using the armor as well with the gold tracks. Very strong option, especially online. <laughs> okay, so this is pretty good for Jake. Oh, but the tech chase was so good for Goblin, man. Every time yeah. you're seeing that down to the hyper singing. He's so ready to follow up. Oh, got him in the car. Oh, I was able to land a fair, oh. but not the weak spot. Yeah, this is much better for Jake right now. Okay, at the ledge here. Yep, he's going to use that down tilt. It's very effective off the ledge against Roy. Every time he's forced to go low, it's very hard for him to avoid that. Oh, there's the armor from the cart again. Yeah, got well, then he definitely wants those jump in there uh, combos because it just leads to so much. But with the armor of uh, Steve's car, he's just going to eat through that. I don't know. The strategy of just kind of brute forcing his way inside of uh, Steve's range is not as effective this game as it was in the first game. I, like, Jake's definitely adapted to that strategy right now. Okay. Yeah, so Steve, like, especially if he has access to the down air, his landing options are uh, pretty tricky. Like, not super telegraphed or predictable. No, I even... Big forward smash, too, with a diamond. Comes a cart. Oh! Oh, 
no tech, but dude, that setup was just so rough. See, Roy, especially if he doesn't have eight of a platform on this stage, he's going to have to go low a lot of times, and Steve covers that so well. Very, yeah. very rough to deal with in that situation. For Goblin. But I like that. I like that uh, comeback from Jake. Um, it shows a lot of... If you can just get three stocked first game in like less than two minutes and then you can win the next game no problem on the on the next on the same exact stage so yeah let's see let's see the counter pick here for a goblin i don't know he really seemed to like that stage so i'm curious where he's gonna go now if he even changes the stage Okay, game three. By the way, this is the qualifier for top eight winner side. So, winner of this match will be going on to top eight for a best of five. So, very important match right now. Yeah, these and are two. And we're going to get uh, Battlefield now. Yeah, these are two very strong players. So, I doubt uh, the loser's night's going to be over quite yet as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got to say, I'm pretty happy to see a Goblin after so long. It's been a pretty... Long time since I've seen him play in a tournament, especially with this character. Right. Not exactly an online favorite, Roy is. <laughs> no, not at all. Oh, gotta watch. He can't shield that move. He also delayed his match too, so uh, Jake wasn't able to get like a guaranteed follow-up after him getting released from the cart. Oh, it's a big down tilt. Yeah, it was yeah, like Jake just having a lot better luck anticipating Goblin's options there and just capitalizing on the jump from ledge, the big old fair taking yeah. the stock. Oh, but Goblin fires right back. Jake's still alive, though. Oh, he did the one thing you don't want to do, but Goblin oh, went for a no. much harder punish. I thought when he got that jab, that was just going to be a guaranteed back air. Back, yeah. But big dash attack. I wonder if he was a little bit off on his timing, so he didn't feel confident going for a jab back air there. Either way, he still was able to clean up the stock, but... I hoping for Goblin's sake he doesn't drop an opportunity like that again in this uh this match right now. Yeah, Jake might not Very give important. him a chance to capitalize on it again. Oh, Goblin barely avoiding the cart right there. Eats a back air from Jake. Yeah, these carts are catching Goblin's jump ins very often. Uh I don't honestly I, I don't know what he can do oh. to change that up. And that was a huge diamond back air from the cart. Very hard to avoid that. Oh, and this is scary. You don't want to be at low percent against Steve while he's hitting that up, so... No, it's like a one-way <laughs> ticket to 70. <laughs> yeah. Like, Jake didn't even get the combo, and it still did 30% just from up tilt alone. Huge stock already. He has pretty much the win condition here, still having the diamond. Very early kill potential right now. Honestly, he can potentially just kill Roy at this percent. Uh, Goblin's got to do a lot to come back. Nice patience by Dob Dobbin to hold the shield there in back air, but Jake was able to just take stage before he could get back. At the ledge again, Goblin anticipating a roll, but Jake's not giving it to him, and there's the diamond force smash. Caught Goblin just dashing in very preemptively. He just wanted to get something started, like some type of offense, but man, that, that, that diamond is no joke. You don't ever 